Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising. Uh, weekly tarot reading, July 22nd to July 28th, uh, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are to jump straight away uh, into the reading. Oops. All right, so the first card, which stands for the topic of our Scorpio week, this is going to be, what do you know? We do have the Two of Cups. Then the challenges, uh, it's the Hermit. All right, so the challenging card, that is the Hermit. Followed by the third card, which stands for the positive aspect. And can you, can't get even better than that? I mean, it's just, well, the Hermit is a bit difficult to overcome, you know, but with the other two cards it's just it's it's a matter of allowing yourself to believe all right and the third the fourth card is going to be the guidance of <laughs> that that's ridiculous you know i expect that this is going to be the best week in my life right it's just i i, I am expecting that here that will be the star card, guidance-wise. My God, guys. It's... All right, so I don't know even where to begin with here with, uh, with the reading. And as a general reading, I cannot simply classify it as a, a new love or just, you know, uh, overflowing love. Well, it's going to be an overflowing love, but this love could be the love for life itself, all right, as well as intimate love also. But is there, there is going to be another person involved. That is the thing here with the Two of uh, Cups. Two of Cups is a card that takes two people or a group of people, right? You, you cannot experience this card on your own. So you definitely are going to have an emotional flow in between you and someone else as well. Is this new one? Most likely. Most likely it's a brand, brand new one. Or if it is not, if if it is not a, a new one, then uh, it's like a uh, you see that person in completely different light, okay, in completely different way, a way that you uh, that you had no clue that you could have seen that person in. So once again, let's run down the cards and let's scrutinize the reading because this is going to be a hell of a, a good reading. So Two of Cups is going to be the topic followed by uh, the Hermit card, which is the, um, the challenges. Afterwards, we do have the Ace of Cups, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the last one, that will be the Star card, which regards to the guidance. So Two of Cups, guys, there is no way how one can mistake this card. It does speak for emotional attraction. It does speak for this pull that two people are, are experiencing from, uh, in toward one another. And this pull isn't just chemistry, you know, it goes even, even deeper than that. It's kind of like two people reaching to one another, seeking 
their other the, their fulfillment let's say into one another and from it something new comes up which could be most likely your new relationship or the continuation of your relationship or it could be as well your new project it does depend where it manifests again this is a, a general reading it's not love reading it's not a career reading it's general reading so this reading could apply in general everywhere in every field of your life but <clears throat> Two of Cups urges you to approach the matter with open heart. Being premeditated, being biased, being shy is something that could ruin this beautiful experience that you're going to have, Scorpio, that we, Scorpio, are going to have throughout, uh, throughout this week. And yeah, I mean, this is a Two of Cups. It is most likely for those who are single, for us, the single souls, and looking at the, the other cards that are to come, I don't know if we are going to find a, a better period to find someone to get to get to fall in love with. All right. And the thing with the two of cups is that at least at the start is going to be a, a mutual one. The accompanied card here, we do have the two of swords. So we do have double twos. Uh, and the two is the number of uh, of uh, fellowship, or in other words, that this is beyond our control. It just simply happens, okay? And we are going to find it very difficult to control, not to mention that this combo here, it is a, a passive neutral. And as a passive neutral, you, uh, we, Scorpio, will want to have uh, to... Uh, how can I place it... Um, to jump into it straight away, but in the same time, we're going to hold to our breaks because we will not want to give any kind of a chance to the situation to be ruined. So what, what these two cards are saying is that we're going to take our time to make it as perfect as possible. All right. So that will be the affinity of ourselves. So let's say you meet someone, you fall in love with one another. And instead of straight away jumping, living together, it is best that you get to know each other first. All right. It's just kind of like <clears throat> doing whatever we can to to secure and support this enterprise, should I say that way, that the Two of Cups is offering uh, to us. So just to uh, summarize with these couple of cards, a, a beautiful thing is awaiting uh, for us in this week, July 22nd to July 28th. Hopefully a new love, you know, for us, the single souls, for those who are in relationship, you know, this could be deepening of their love here or the realization, oh my God, how much I love that person, you know. But uh, one is certain guys, our joy will overflow and, and, and kind of like we ain't going to feel that emptiness in our hearts should should you feel any of it. Uh, the next card is going to be uh, the challenges in we do have the hermit. So emotions, they swirl you this way and that way. And uh, you may find yourself lost. You may find yourself out of your mind i don't i don't know how to say it but it's like you lost your sense of of uh of security your sense of urgency as well it's like the love blinds you the love fooled you okay so it will be challenging here to be intelligent when it comes to this enterprise to this new person to this new project or to deepening of the love into your marriage or relationship or you name it to approach it with intelligence with wisdom you know and to decide how to proceed on forward so in other words instead of thinking for what can become from it we scorpio are are going to be more concerned with the moment itself which there is nothing wrong with that guys it's just uh, this with the hermit here, this thing has a huge potential and it will be a, a good idea if right now we think about what that potential could lead us to. All right. And what we can do right now to make sure that we are going to embark on that path, because even though you are going to have something extraordinary throughout the week, we may ruin it and in order for us not to do so, we have to be wise, <clears throat> excuse me, and we have to be intelligent in regards to it. Uh, the accompanied card here is going to be the Six of Pentacles. So the formation is passive supporters. 
and uh, I almost feel sorry for myself because it's it's kind of like a uh, how do you say it in English when you think you don't deserve something all right it's like when when you succeed into something and you kind of like think that you succeed on a chance and you don't deserve that success well these are these two cards which are saying no different than let's say that you meet this handsome guy you know that it is just the dream of your of your, of your heart and it's it's everything that you have ever imagined to be the perfect suitor or the perfect partner, the perfect husband. And great, you know, they do have that emotions towards you. They show interest. And just before you make a move, you say, wait a minute. Well, then how I am to hold up to this guy? I mean, I, I, I will be damned if I am the only woman in his, in, in his wife, in, in his life, you know? I mean, this guy, I, I bet it has like 10 other women texting him you know and that is the sense of fear that is the the sense of that you don't deserve this success all right and likely being willing to give it to someone else it's like what is happening to you or to us it's unnatural but it is natural and you know sometimes universe works in mysterious ways you know and uh if I have that opportunity, I am sure as hell as I'm going to get it, you know. I'm just not going to allow my personal underestimate to, uh, to, get, um, to get better of me, all right? So the positive aspect here, we do have the Ace of uh, Cups. So the card simply points extreme pleasure. It points to huge contentment and it, it points to that sensual joy. It, it does point to transcending one's, rea one's reality by taking on this new enterprise, guys. And nothing will seem the same when you look, the world, when look to the world through the prism of this overflowing joy it's simply everything else is gonna lose relevance your ex relationship is gonna lose relevance your problems at your career is gonna lose relevance they will simply no matter any longer all right your problems with your parents or any kind of problems that you do have why because you do have new direction you do have new agenda you do have new goal you do have hope hope that's what comes here. A promise for better future. A promise for better life. Promise for happiness. An emotional fulfillment, of course. The accompanied card is going to be the, the, the Hierophant. And on the contrary of the first, uh, of the previous couple of cards, these um, combo, it's passive uh, friends. And it's the heart of here points that you do definitely deserve it. I mean, you made the right decision up until this moment. You presented yourself just as you were supposed to present yourself. And for that reason, you attracted this beautiful thing or we attracted that beautiful thing. All right. With the, with the heart of here. Uh, not to mention that um, <clears throat> these two cards as well are could not are, but could also point that one is going to find the real meaning of love, which highly correlates with the deepening of the love into one's marriage and into one relationship. And I don't want to point any fingers here, guys, but let's say that you are in, um, in a marriage, all right, and you love your wife or you love your husband. And one day you open up your eyes in the morning and you realize that you love them, but up until this moment, you love them for the wrong reasons. And now as you do have the right reasons, your love gets grows even bigger because you found the new, the true meaning of love. Okay. Beforehand, you could have loved them because they're handsome, because they're funny, because they understand you, because, you know, they kind of like um, makes you feel special. And now when you open your eyes, you may realize, oh my God, I trust that person. I miss that person. I, I can't live without that person. These are completely different reasons. In my book, the true reasons. All right. And the last card that we do have is going to be the star card, which is the guidance needless to say. As a guidance, this card points that this 
experience here or rather like this beautiful thing happening to us that relates to our love it's it has a potential for a lifetime because the star card it is the furthest point that we can look forward to all right and that is up until the end of our life so this sweeter for example could be the one that you're gonna marry with and you're gonna live happily ever after it's um and for that reason, once again, uh, you need to overcome this sense of um, underestimatement, personal underestimatement, and um, do your best to plan as much as you can in advance, all right? How you're going to take on it. I mean, you, yeah, okay, so you met that person, so th it's, it won't going to hurt you if you allow yourself to think about well, what if we start living together how we are going to do that all right or if we are to get married how we are going to do that where we're going to live you know and, and these kind of stuff it's just this card urges you to be two steps ahead of the game which you definitely can do not to mention that whatever this experience this this thing is going to be the support for it is going to be enormous all right everybody will be happy for you. Well, not everybody, because everybody has em uh, enemies, you know, but the majority of the people will truly be happy for your happiness and they will support you without any questions whatsoever. The accompanied card here is going to be uh, the temperance, <clears throat> not the temperance, but the strength, excuse me, and the formation is active, uh, active enemies, excuse me, and as an active enemy, you simply need to show it to the world. Do not keep it for yourself. You know, that thing happens and you instantly need to show to the world that this thing is happening. Okay, do not keep it for yourself. Do not hold it in secret. But it's kind of like share it with the others. Let's say that way. Share your good fortune with the others. Allow others to be happy because you are happy. Okay. So Scorpio, it's, it, it looks like quite a promising week, guys. I am definitely looking forward for it or to it, excuse me. And uh, I simply cannot wait to see what, what, what is that thing for me, right? But I highly doubt that is going to be in regards to my love life, which is DOA. But who knows? We'll see. All right. So, yeah, that was uh, our weekly tarot reading i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it as much as i did because i am sure i did and uh, we're going to see each other around until then bye